Now the second one, I'm going to record the second one and imagine a month has passed. So I'm going to record this one as well. This one I'll mark off as yellow, meaning it's done or something. Or let's make this one, this one yellow. Yeah. Okay. And so now this one, I'm going to just do it a month later. So I'm still going to put it in February. So we're still working in February, but I'll put it in there February 28th. So you've got to imagine a month has passed. And now I'm going to enter the next one just to see the problem with the fact that I got the same dollar amount, but the interest and reduction in principle are different. So I can't memorize the transaction like I'd like to. So let's do that. Let's check that out then. Check it out. Check it out. Let's go to the first tab. I'm going to go to the plus button. Check. We're going to check out the check and then I'll put this to chase again. Chase, check out the chase check. Checking out the chase check. Okay. Okay. Just stop. What is this? This is going to be on 228.02.28.23. And then the check number populates automatically. And then down below. <clears throat> ah, sorry. My throat got clogged up there. We've got the interest. Now it tries to memorize the transaction, which is good. That's what we want to have happen. And if it was a bank fee transaction, that would be totally good because then we can make a rule to make it do what we want it to do. But we can't because these numbers change. I've got to change this, see, to, to the 295.59. Now, 295.59, is that right? Did I go dyslexic on that one? Two nine, no, I did it right. I know what I'm talking about. And then the other side's going to be uh, 53. The other side's going to be 106314. So 1063.14. That gives us the same total down below here of the 13 of the 1358. Is that right? 135873. But we have a different breakout between these two. Now, like I say, the other way you can work around this is just put the whole amount in loans payable, which means you will not tie out to the amortization table. It will be wrong because you will not have recorded the interest. But you can use that, that adjusting entry concept of saying, hey, look, I know that and I'm going to adjust it periodically at the end of the month or year, or I'm going to have my CPA do it at the end of the month or year so that I can automate everything use the bank feeds, use bank rules possibly, make it as easy as possible, and then know which adjustments need to be made and have my CPA firm do it based on the loan documents and the amortization tables. So that's another method that could work quite well. So I'm gonna say, save it and close it, and let's check it out. Check out the check from Chase. Tab to the right, we're gonna go run, and then uh, the cash account. Now we've got, it's going to kind of mess us up because we kind of jumped to the end of the month here. So later on, but we've got these two, that was a month later, even though it's in the same month, but you get the idea. The point is same amount comes out of the checking account. That's not the issue. That's normal. That's what we would expect. But if I go to the tab to the right and I refresh it to run it to, to give a fresh report, then in the interest paid which i don't really like the name i'd rather call it interest expense but we already talked about that i might change that later so then we've got these two here but these are different that's the thing that's what happens because interest goes down over time because the principal goes down therefore there's less rent on the the money that you're being loaned so it goes down as time passes the other side's on the loan payable and that's going to be down here loan payable right there there it is and that one also has a difference between the two amounts in the reduction we're now at the 6987813 which should match the amortization table 6987813 it does indeed do that so let's go back up top and that's that's uh, that is that that's the loans we'll touch more on loans in the future when we have another loan so we have to deal with two loans and get into this and then we'll do short-term and long-term loan breakout stuff in the adjusting entries section or course 